हरे राम कृष्ण हरे राम कृष्ण हरे राम कृष्ण टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ डे लॉर्ड ऑन द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ द नेटिव सो द डे लॉर्ड इन संस्कृत इन हिंदी इट इज कॉल्ड वारेश और द लॉर्ड ऑफ द वारा एंड इन संस्कृत इट इज कॉल्ड वासर so each day is named as in hindi is called somavar for monday and in sanskrit it is called somavasarah for tuesday it is mangalwar and in sanskrit bhomavasarah like that so the word vasarah is uh, very significant because it truly it truly states the meaning of vara meaning of the day so if you break down the word vasarah you will find vasa and ra and ra stands for agni fire so in the panchanga vara represents the fire element you know panchanga are uh, basically five limbs and these five limbs are nothing but five elements so out of uh, vara tithi karna yoga out of these vara is basically ruling over the the fire element so it determines how much fire is accessible to the native who is born on a particular day so for the person who is born on sunday the lord of sunday is ravi that is sun for the person who is born on monday the lord of monday is moon for tuesday it is mars for wednesday it is mercury for thursday it is jupiter for friday it is venus for saturday it is saturn like that so if a person is born on let's say monday so the lord of the day is moon and moon is the will be the planet who is going to provide agni to this person for various purposes so in general the first principle that one has to apply to to judge how well the varesh is in the chart one has to look at the vara lord the varesh with respect to the first house first house lord eighth house lord and the 10th house lord so before jumping into these first 8th and 10th lords let us understand the purpose of agni in the native's life when a person is born he is hardly 2 kg or 1 and 1/2 kg but over the period of time after eating food and living in the environment when he goes up he becomes 50 kg 60 kg 100 kg so this growth is provided by the the growth that has happened is because of agni that he was born with so this growth is represented by the first house lord that is the lagna lord lagna lord is a seed and that seed when it manifests it becomes the tree when a person at the age of 50 60 when he attains the 
maximum height and weight that point of time whatever has been manifested was there on the day of pregnancy in that small cell in that zygote so that that is the the essence of agni so when fire element is there it makes the person healthy and let him grow let him manifest to the maximum potential that is one purpose so that represents the first house the first lord the lagna lord then second thing is for how long the person lives the longevity of the person the person with weak agni will be diseased and he will not live long the person with balanced agni will live long so association with the eighth lord gives the indication that how is agni placed how is the agni provided by the varish helping the eighth house matter that is the longevity and then the purpose of one's life is not just to build body and live long he is born in this world to do some tasks so that task is determined by the 10th house so agni is required fire is required even to do these tasks also so the 10th house comes into picture and the 10th lord so these are the three lords that we have to see with respect to the vara lord the varish the day lord if it is well placed with respect to each of these then you can safely say that vara the agni element is very good in this person and he will be able to live long he will be able to grow into a, a strong person and he'll do good things for the society he will have sufficient energy in his body to do things for the society and the meaning of well placed in astrology is when the vara lord is in kendra with the lord or in the trikona that is when it is 1 4 7 and 10 houses from the vara lord or it is 5th and 9th houses that point of time uh, if that is the condition then agni provided by the vara lord will reach sufficiently to these lords and they will prosper if they are in dusthana then they will not receive the energy provided by the vara lord there are ways in which even uh, one has to see how vara lord is placed in the chart if it is debilitated or in the in the sign of uh, enemy or very weak then the person will be having very weak energy if it is exalted and placed good in the chart then the agni with which the person is born that will be very good very balanced now apart from that there are individual results depending on who is the varish so those results i am taking from jataka bharanam by pandit dundiraj and uh, those results are applicable when the dasha of the vara lord comes into picture when it comes into in the vimshotri dasha or whichever dasha you 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 will be uh, seeing which will be applicable to the chart when the dasha of uh, the vara lord comes these results will become applicable so starting with sunday the person who is born on sunday lord of sunday is ravi that is surya sun and such a person will be walrus 
he will be very uh, powerful and courageous person he will not have much hair there will not be much hair on the body he will be victorious in war he will win over enemies he will have pitta prakriti that is he will have uh, uh, you can say path pitta and kaf these are the uh, tri doshas mentioned in ayurveda out of which pitta basically means the acidity or the the bile component of the metabolism so such a person will be having very high pitta so such a high pitta person tend to have um, ulcers and um, and uh, bruise and these things on the body because of high pitta nature then such a person will be very enthusiastic he will not be dull kind of person he will be uh, keen to do new things and he will be a very enthusiastic person so that's for the sunday then the person who is born on monday is very scholar very knowledgeable person and he is very peaceful he speaks very nicely and he knows the work that is you can say he is kind of proactive in the work he knows the work well whatever he does and he tends to be equanim equanimous in the uh, in the case of happiness and sorrow he tends to be equanimous in the sorrow and happiness like bhagwan sri krishna says in bhagavad gita sukhe dukhe same kritva labha labho jaya jaye so the person who tends to remain indifferent to happiness and sorrow is the state of gyani then he works under the king he works for you can say in the in the modern context there are hardly kings left so he'll be basically related to government jobs then uh, the person who is born on tuesday the lord of tuesday is mangala mars and such a person will be having very taunting he'll be very taunting kind of person he will be talking in such a way that other person will be will become angry or other person will get provoked so such will be his speech he'll be war monger or is ready to fight and he'll love the wars he'll be minister and he'll he'll be interested in doing farming and agriculture he will be powerful and he will act very sharply very fast and very sharp very caustic kind of uh, kind of uh, swabhav he will have then coming to the person who is born on wednesday the lord of wednesday is mercury and such a person will have a very beautiful body he will be a nice speaker he will be a rich person and he will be skilled in various arts he will be skilled in commerce trades he will be very scholar and he will be knower of qualities you can say he will be able to judge the quality of others he will be gunagyata knower of qualities then the person who is born on thursday the lord of thursday is jupiter so such a person will be very scholar and he'll be rich he'll have many good qualities he'll be beautiful and whatever he desires he gets from the higher authorities from his senior from his bosses from his elders whatever he desires he gets then he is he is teacher he will you may not say that uh, that he will be in the teaching profession he could be in the teaching profession 
but he will be like he like to do teaching stuff then he'll be favorite of masses then the person who is born on friday he will have curly hairs he'll be cheerful and he'll be extraordinarily intelligent such a person will love white clothes and he'll walk on the path shown by saintly people good people nice people he'll be basically following such people then the person who is born on saturday will have the problem of early aging he will look older than he is currently he'll have weak mind and weak body he'll be very tamasi person so tamasi person means the person who has these six bad qualities shadripu kaam krodh lobh moh mad matsarya these bad qualities like being lustful uh, being very angry and uh, uh, coveting the wealth of others these bad qualities will be there in such a person then he will be ruthless he will not be a kind person he will be very ruthless kind of person so these results these results may not be part of his uh his ordinary uh, day to day character but when the mahadasha antardasha pratyantardasha of varesh comes then then these results will be bestowed and uh, you will notice these effects on the persons on his personality so that's all from me for today namaskar aap sabhi ke bhitar baithe parmatma ko pranam karte